What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of AWS Tutorial. And today I'll show you how to build a Lambda function in Java. And then we're going to use Maven to build a Java file for uploads. So in the beginning, I thought that no one really uses Java for Lambda functions. But then after talking to a friend at Amazon, he actually told me that a lot of their Lambda functions were built in Java because Java is still the enterprise language for a lot of the big companies. So I think it might be worth a while to do a tutorial on this so that you know how to build a Lambda function in Java if you have to. And in today's tutorial, I'm just going to use a simple example, but the approach is going to be the same for more complicated applications. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so right now I'm on the home page of the AWS console. And step number one is to create a Lambda function that uses Java. So I'm going to type in Lambda and then hit create. Give it a name, I'll just call it my Java Lambda. And then we're going to choose Java. You can choose Java 8 here, but I'm just going to choose the latest version, Java 11. And then I just let it create a basic Lambda row for it and then hit create. Okay, so it's done. And now let's write the Lambda code and then build a draw file for the uploads. But before we can do that, uh, we need to do two things. Uh, one is that we need to install Java in our machine, obviously. And then the other thing is that you need to install Maven in your machine as well. Uh, for Mac users, you can just do something like brew install Maven. Uh, that's pretty simple. But for Windows users, you can follow the instruction on this page. Right now, all right, so right now we have IntelliJ open. And that's the IDE that we're going to use for the project. And if you don't have that installed in your machine, you can just go to the home page and download that accordingly. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to create a new project. We're going to choose Maven here. You can choose whatever Java versions that you have installed in your machine, but ideally higher than uh, Java 8. And then hit next. And then choose the location that you want to save your project to. And then we're going to give it a name. I'll just call it Lambda function. And then hit finish. Right, so what that does for you is it creates the source folder for you and then the pump file, XML file for you. And then inside source, you have main and then test. And then you have two empty folders, which doesn't have anything, but we're going to add code to it. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our pump file so that we have all the dependencies that we want. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a properties tag. And then inside here, we're going to specify the Maven version. I have this written down before already, so I'm just going to copy and paste it here. And then next, we're going to define the dependencies that we need for our Lambda function. So dependencies, and then the dependency that we need is this. So this library right here basically provides all the basic functionalities that we need for a Lambda function using Java. And then after dependencies, we're going to have a build tag. And then inside that, we're going to have a plugins tag. And then the plugin that we're going to add is this. And that's what we use to compile the, uh, the jar file for the upload. OK, so that is it for the pump file. And then inside our main class, we are going to create a new package. Let's just call it handler. And that is going to be the entry point for your Lambda function. And if you need to use other services, you can just like create another package called service or something like that. And then inside our handler package, we're going to create a class. We just call it Lambda Handler. And then inside our Lambda Handler, we are going to have a public function that returns a string. And, and the function name is called handle request that takes in a string as a input and then it takes in a context as another parameter and then we can do option enter for the import so in here you would have different options make sure that you choose the right one. Oh, it doesn't have it yet so i'm going to refresh my maven project so hit it again and make sure that you choose the AWS Lambda function runtime context, that's the right one. And then in here, we are just going to use the context to get the logger. 
and then we're gonna log out something like user input and then plus the input and then we're gonna return a string um, let's just call it hello and return whatever the input is so obviously for your lambda function you're gonna have a more complicated things in here uh, for example you can define services in here and then you can just call the services here to do the things that you want but I think this is sufficient for our simple case and then we're gonna open terminal because we need to build the job file and we're gonna do nvm that stands for maven clean package because we want to package the job file shade shade hit enter all right so it's successful and it builds a target folder and inside the target folder that is our job file the first one and that's what we're going to upload to our lambda function for execution and now let's go back to the lambda console so the first thing that we have to do is under runtime setting in here you see that handler it has a random or hello world example handlers here we need to change that to match with what we have in our handler class so i'm going to hit edit for that we have to choose handler that's the package name and then for the class name we are going to do lambda handler and that is the method name which is the same as what we define here which is fine and then hit save and now it's ready to be test so I'm gonna hit test my test event remember in our function is expecting to take in a string as an input so we're gonna do something like Felix hit test it's an error let's see what happened class now found oh duh we did not upload a draw file let's do that so hit code upload the thing is that target and the first one hit open hit upload okay successful and now let's go back to test hit test again it's successful and it should return something like hello Felix all right this is it everyone I hope you have learned something and if you like this video I hope you can give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video